Hi guys, this is Liam here again and welcome back to Until Dawn. Now in the last episode I think we started to make some discoveries as to what this story is actually about in the sense that we have found we have found out that there are some miners that were discovered in 1952. They survived three weeks on emergency rations but some of them developed breathing difficulties. They were taken to Blackwood Sanatorium where they were possibly most likely experimented on by the staff at Blackwood. So much to a point that they uprose and killed the staff at Blackwood with sharp lacerations to the throat abdomen that could be fingernails. So these experiments have altered the human sort of body so they actually are deformed in some way. Now they have escaped and the things they have killed have possibly come back to life in a zombie style and maybe this is when, from when I sort of selected zombies with Dr. Hill in the original place. Maybe not. I don't think they are zombies because they move too fast for what we've seen with the, the, and they seem to have predator vision. Uh, as in, they, when I say predator vision, they have sort of heat seeking vision. Now, that's one sort of story that is going along. Surrounding this story, there appears to be this mystery man that we are on the hunt of uh, that led us to uh, Blackwood Sanatorium. Now, either this mystery man is a former doctor who managed to survive, or has just, he, or he's got some sort of link to an ancient, ancient Indian burial ground and is trying to defend his home turf, which. If that's the case, he might be on our side trying to fight these these monsters, these these predator things. Now, it's interesting. It's it's certainly interesting. That what's in, most interesting is the miners that were found weren't as malnourished as they expected them to be when they were found. For three weeks alone, they sort of they had more to them only a few breathing difficulties. So the question is, was that just emergency supplies or was there something else? We don't know. There's another story going on surrounding the other characters, mainly Chris, Ashley, Matt and Emily now, where um, Josh and Ashley were put in some sort of Saw game, from like, uh, a, a game from the movie Saw and we had to pick whether one would live and one would die. Now I'm clutching to the idea that there's sort of a scream element here where two of the teenagers are just playing pranks on the other and it got very very real. Now that is possible. If that's the case Josh isn't actually dead. We did find a pig's head but not the body which could support this. So Josh may or may not be dead. Sam has been having a bath this entire time so I imagine we'll be moving on to Sam's story very shortly because we haven't seen her for a long time but there is this guy in a skull mask now is he a teenager? we don't know he looked like some sort of janitor car mechanic he's sort of an overalls tool belt or is he someone else entirely? we don't know yet but that's kind of where we were at the end of the last video now we are still exploring the old sanatorium well, here is Mike who, since he sort of ditched Emily, uh, not Emily, uh, ditched Jessica, who may or may not be alive as well, she's disappeared by, down a mine shaft. Now I think this game is going to kill any of the characters, it will kill them on screen. So, by that, Mike has, has become much more of a, like an action hero type character and he is exploring, thinking about things. He was described as intelligent when he sort of first came out, but he's become more likeable. I think that's that's the point I'm trying to make. So now going back that way. Yes, but the difference is we're now back in the main room, but we do have a key card for the chapel, and we now know the mystery man has left the chapel. So that's where I am. That's where that's what I've worked out so far. It's all subjective. I could be completely wrong, but I think what I've come up with makes sense. 
And if that is all the case, I wonder how much choice I actually had as to the story of this. Um, Easy. Easy. Okay, that made me jump. That's a good boy. I was too busy talking about rubbish. Okay, I survived. Um, right, so. A new place to look. So, he only took one of the dogs with him then? So, what have we here? The coat. Let's take this coat. Can we put it on? Keep warm. Oh. It only makes sense. Hang on. How long is that coat? Oh, there's a gun. That's not going to work. Oh. That might. Take that, make it slide down, yeah. Good thinking, Michael. Nice. We now have a gun. Do we have any ammo in it? Are you not going to check? No? So we have a machete and a gun. He is definitely taking the action hero in a horror film. So we can't go in there. Oh no. Jeans tucked up. Hang on. Let's get a good look at Mike. So jeans tucked up into boots with a coat that kind of goes down to just below the bum. If we go on to our totems again... Uh, I think it was danger. No, it wasn't danger. Loss? No. Wasn't definitely wasn't fortune. It wasn't death. There was one. No, it wasn't that one. That was Jess waking. Ah, hang on. Jess waking up. All bloodied and battered. So is that her at the bottom of the mine shaft? That might be her at the bottom of the mine shaft. Now I'm sure there was a totem somewhere of someone punched in the face. Was it this one then? Guidance? No. De oh, it's a death one. Yeah, here. That was the last one you look. Now what do we notice? Boots tucked up into jeans with a coat just around the bum area. So I thought that was Chris at that point. Is that Mike? Although Mike has a lantern, not a torch. And there was definitely a torch in that. So what have we got here? We have... Bigfoot sighted. Lots of wall clippings. Local man found dead. Huh. Okay. That's a very um, conspiracy type wall. So we don't want to go that way yet because that's the way the guy went. And it says exit, so we won't go that way yet. That's probably the onto the next section. What's up here? Anything? There's a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? One of my favourite films. I've watched it for ages, though. Okay, can we open? Uh, scraps for the dog. I guess I'll keep the wolves fed and happy. We'll take one, yeah. Let's give it to the dog then. You can't start calling it a wolf now if you've called it a dog all along. Now we'll come back to that. We'll give this to the dog. Because then he might make friends and won't attack me. That's my thinking there. Where was he? Over here somewhere. Where's the doggy gun? That's the way I came in, is it? Yeah, there it is. That's alright, so I'm going to give you this. Yeah, that's it. Ah. Yeah. No, eat the bone. Enjoy the bone. 
Easy, boy. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. Ah, they call him Michael the Wolf Whisperer. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Everyone likes a little loving, right? Right, so that's the way we came in. Uh, we saw something in the middle there. So we've made friends with the dog. That must be key later on. Does he come in and protect me at some point, maybe? But the only th real threat at this point seems like this mystery man. Who might not actually be a threat. Except the predator monster. Uh, the stogie stash exposed. Aha. Uh -huh. Cigar. So that means where we found the stogie before, that is where this mystery man was. That was down in the mines, wasn't it? Right. So what's this way? Anything or nothing? Nothing over here? Okay, that seems to be the majority of this room, so I guess we'll move on and go through the exit. Hmm. We'll go through. Oh! Oh, it's locked. That's one way of getting through, I suppose. Don't want to be wasting ammo, though. Uh, I was going to call him Chris. It does look a bit like a cross between Chris Renfe uh, Redfield and um, Nathan Drake. So, hang on, that seems like the way to go. So, what's this coming towards? No, nothing. Okay, I guess we'll go through here. How did the mystery man padlock? the gate from the other side when he went through there. So we won't go down there yet. Let's have an explore around the top here. That's an interesting thing. It seems like that padlock was just there to inconvenience me. Oh, yeah. Is that a totem? I think that might be a totem. What's this one? No. It's the Miracle Man. A successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped Okay. Not a totem then. It's very, very dark. I hope it's not too dark for you guys. Okay, nothing else along there. So I guess we're going down the stairs. Interesting. So let's go down the stairs and see what awaits us. A lot of the time I'm not actually holding the L1 to move quickly, uh, it's not intentional, it's just it doesn't really make a difference, that's walking quickly, that's walking normally, it doesn't really make a difference. I'll try and press it when I can, but in truth there isn't much of a difference in walking speeds, so I am going through it at a fairly decent pace. Okay, nothing in here, what's this way? Oh, something over there. Uh, okay, another padlock door. Of course, locked. Well, it didn't stop you getting through the last one. What are we doing? Moving this barrel? Okay. Oh, what? Is it that much? No oh, um, I had to think. No. Oh dear. Don't want to go in there, Mike. Okay. Uh, I don't know the guy in the school mask is watching us. I don't think that's, that's Mike dead. So, the guy in the school mask is controlling. He just locked this gate. 
Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Yeah, come on, selfie stick. Let's go off. And uh, so it's now Matt and Emily. What happened to Chris and Ashley? I thought these four were sticking together. Dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, mm, I that's guess, true. That is true. Some things you have to so see. What have we got yourself? here? I'll take their word for it. Uh, we have some sort of little, another little cabin type thing. Got anything around? I can't see anything. Let's just have a quick wander over here. Oh, exploration pays off yet again. Another totem. This looks black, this one, so I'm guessing this is a death totem. Nice! That's my death. Nice. So that was... Oh! Ah, we're not collecting them in order. So maybe I haven't missed any. I imagine I probably have, but... I'm sure you guys will correct me if I have. That's not very descriptive, that's just me falling. So avoid situations where I'm falling. Okay. So falling is bad for Matt. Fire is bad for Emily, I believe, with the... Um... Matt hates everyone except Emily. <laughs> huh. Probably because he's siding with Emily, maybe. Good. I'm not going to look at them because just in, in case that risks any spoilers for myself. I don't want to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, um, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely Emily. That coat is Emily's. So, fire is bad for Emily. Falling is bad for Matt. Being hung is bad for either Chris or Mike. Yeah. And we've already seen that. Okay. Also, wasn't it Matt that got his face sliced off? So there's the multiple ways for Matt to die. Uh, that's either Jess or Ashley. I think possibly Ashley. That's Matt. That is unmistakably Matt. Does he fall and then get his face sliced, or is that just one of two options? Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. That's been placed into the door. Clue found. Axe. So that's the axe that was missing from before. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt! We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Look, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lift palm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. That's quite big, actually. Uh, you're going through, not me. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. It is Fine. a talent. Do it. Okay, I still don't like Emily at all. Uh, all right. so, but distracting from noise is good. That's quite big. Uh, damn it. I think I would be able to fit through there. On. Matt definitely could. I'm right here, Em. Use your phone like I Sam... Uh, but no, it wasn't Sam. It was Beth. Here. I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Uh, Anything. Oh, no, I think there's spiders in here. Be careful. Well, it's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dip. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. He's not Almost. being treated well by Emily. Oh, wow. I did it. 
Good job, Em. You rock. You're okay, too. That was good. We did good. A++ would buy again. Oh, now you switched the light on. Would have made more sense to put the light on first, but... It's also not that dark. This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, though. The one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. Mm. He's know I'm still not sure about that. Back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's... I, I mean, that's not far, right? You... Can jump it? <laughs> nope, not I jumping. I saw that totem. I'm not falling. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Right. Uh, Everything is like so busted up. Oh, well, there'll be something in here. They knew exactly what they were doing. Out the way. No patience for you. I'm definitely not jumping that. I saw that thing. I'm not falling to my death. Something flashing in there. A couple of things flashing in there. A number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. So what have we got? We have some sort of map of the area. Oh, communication tower. So the cable car. I'm guessing that's what. Maybe there's got to be something we can do. Communication oh, tower. Look at all this crap. There's gotta hey, be something useful in here, tower. right? Or a fire tower. Communication tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Don't. What, what, what's Matt's traits? How long do I have to put up with Emily for? I've gone down in Emily's opinion slightly. That's just not very much liked, is he? Who well, doesn't like many people, at least. That's possibly his relationship. Charitable, romantic, curious. He hasn't delved off much of his starting traits either. Oh, what's this? Very friendly. Die, die, die. Unfollow. Did she just say unfollow? Oh. Right, what's this over here? Control panel? Can I not use it? Start and stop, so we need a key. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Um, I said that already. It's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we got to get to that radio. Uh, I'll agree, because it was my idea. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. You could do so much better, Matt. I like Matt. Mental hospital. <laughs> Great, that's like totally gross. No, just creepy. Right. Okay. Where's she going? You can't reach ladder, but I bet I could. <laughs> What's cooking, good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Uh, uh. He could do so much better. Come on, we haven't got all day. Oh. You're coming with me, buddy. You found Torch. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Oh dear. Hang on. Are we on a ledge? <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. 
Don't fall, please, Matt. We've seen the totem. Okay, okay easy now. Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. Yeah. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Are you coming? No? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah. Holy cannoli. Right. So onwards and upwards. Anything around here? Oh yeah, totem, totem. What kind of totem will you be? Yellow. It's guidance. Guidance totem. So, was that a flag gun? I think that was a flag gun. Flag gun. If you find a flag gun as Emily, give it to Matt. I can remember that. That seems uh, fairly self-explanatory. What if it doesn't work? I don't know why, what the, the difference would be, but... Work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain? The mountain. Are you serious? It was gonna... It's not like it's floating in the sky. Yeah, if it's gonna <laughs> save you. Be, it's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. Hmm. This talks a lot of sense, does Matt. The lodge, that's where he expects us to go. But then he's got the negative force of Emily just constantly knocking him down. He could do so much better. And of course she, she lies and cheats as well, so... Matt's best off rid of her, really. What's this? Is this another totem already? They're just flinging them at us, aren't they? What's this one? Is this one White Fortune? It's about time we had a bit of luck. There's that screech again. So that was Ashley opening the door for Chris. That's Ashley opening the door for Chris. And Chris has a gun. Right, okay. So those two stick together. Basically, as long as people stick together, they're alright. Where are you going? You're going towards a dead end. Oh, is this where Hannah and Beth fell? Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Okay. Yep, neither would I. So I'm going back this way. Don't quite know why you brought me that way. <laughs> Matt, what is that? Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. no. Elk. <laughs> Infected elk or just elk? Okay. Right, so that. And Sam's still in the bath after all this time. Hi. Creepy school mask man. Just sat there watching Sam. So he would rather just sit and watch Sam rather than well? actually try and kill her. That's interesting. Guys. That plays more into the thought that this is teenagers playing pranks on each other. What are you doing other. out there? You creepy. Come on Hayden. Okay. Is this the where we nearly see the girl naked shot? Mm, yeah, more or less. So that is a big bathtub. It's clearly meant for more than one person. So we now are playing as Sam, 
Hayden Pantier in a towel. I bet this was a big attraction to the game. Oh, for Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever oh, cool. one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, well, not cool, guys. Well, we've got a not sock. Cool at all. So we now have to go and find clothes. This game's taking a very strange Chris? turn. Well, before we move Gosh. on, I think we're going to call this an episode here. Uh, I am the Digital Demon. This is Until Dawn. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.